Welcome to this review of One and One's My Website Business Package, which you may know from their TV commercials. One and One promises that even a complete beginner is able to create an effective business website. It is very likely that you'll find your industry in One and One's catalog. They offer templates for more than 100 professions such as contractors, retail stores, clubs, hotels, restaurants, and many more. Templates include a design specific to your respective industry along with texts. This concept sounds very convenient but also has its flaws as we'll discover later on. Let's log into our demo site that we created for a photography business. As you can see, One and One has already pulled out our registration details from the database and inserted them in various places on our new site. The Website Editor One and One has given the editor a facelift recently, but the way it works is still the same. To edit an element, simply click it and further options will appear. This element opens up a text editor that you can use to add or delete text. To add an element, click here. There are different categories such as multimedia for photos and videos, products and documents, contact and communications where you can create web forms, for example, social to integrate Facebook and other services on your website, and web services. We are now going to add a photo to our home page. First we need to drag the element to our page. I now upload the file to One and One's web space. You'll get unlimited web space with all their packages, which is nice. Now let's enlarge the size of the image. You can even crop it or change the contrast within the image editor. No external software needed. Managing the navigation. Change the order of existing pages here. Using the horizontal arrows, you can create sub-pages. There are up to three levels. To exclude pages from your navigation, click the on-off symbol. This way, you can hide pages that are not important enough to appear in your main navigation. To add a new page, click the plus icon. Layout and Design One design element of One and One My Website is the side column that is fixed and stays constant on all sub-pages, as you can see when we switch to another page. It's still the same. This is convenient for things like a newsletter subscription form or links to your social profiles. To change your main template, simply go to Layout and pick a design you like. If you feel confident to code your own template, feel free to jump to the HTML CSS tab. The Style section will let you choose from a predefined set of fonts and colors, or allow you to put together your own style here. Before you save your changes, make sure to preview them first. Finally, let's take a look at the Settings menu. Here we can enable our mobile website, for example, which is only included in the Plus and Premium packages. Another feature is having password-protected areas for your website. One and One also offers plenty of options if you want to improve your site's search engine rankings. Conclusion It is true that even a beginner with limited Internet experience can create a professional-looking website with One and One's product. The downside is that if you leave too much of their pre-made content unchanged, it will negatively impact your search engine ratings because hundreds of other website owners are using the same texts and images. Search engines such as Google are all about unique content and quality. One and One's website builder looks very similar to competitor Jimdo. The reason is simple. One and One used to be an investor of Jimdo. Jimdo doesn't offer industry-specific content. But other than that, they have a blogging feature as well as a better online store. Therefore, you may want to also take a look at Jimdo. To try One and One, you can sign up for their 30-day free trial. Don't forget to cancel if you don't want to use their services, as the free trial will turn into a regular contract after 30 days. To find a comparison chart of different providers, please make sure to check out WebsiteToolTester.com. And if you found this video useful, please like it on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you.